हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माय इकोनॉमिक्स क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इनडिफरेंस कर्व एंड इनडिफरेंस मैप एंड देर वी हैव टेकन सम बेसिक्स बेसिक नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग द इनडिफरेंस कर्व एंड इनडिफरेंस मैप एंड नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर्स ऑफ इनडिफरेंस कर एंड दीज फीचर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यूअर एग्जामिनेशंस राइट now let's see the features of indifference curve here there are mainly three features of indifference curve in that the first one is indifference curve slopes downwards from left to right already you saw the indifference curve and how that will look like means the indifference curve slopes downwards from left to right the second important feature is the higher indifference curve gives greater level of satisfaction okay and indifference map you have saw that the indifference map means the higher indifference curve will gives you the higher level of satisfaction and the lower indifference curve will gives you the lower level of satisfaction now let's see the third and last feature is two indifference curves never intersect each other okay means two indifference curve will never intersect means it will never lies on each other okay these are the most important features of indifference curves and now let's discuss these three features in detail now take the first and most important feature of indifference curve is that indifference curves slopes downwards from left to right okay means how the indifference curve will slopes downwards from left to right look at the graph here here i will draw the graph of indifference curve of sloping downwards from left to right this is what the indifference curve and this is showing the three combinations of goods and services which will provide the same level of satisfaction okay here the curve is showing what it is sloping downward from left to right now look at some important points of this feature that is an indifference curve slopes downwards from left to right which means that in order to have more of bananas the consumer has to sacrifice some mangoes okay in the last class i have taken the example of bananas and mangoes while explaining the indifference curve okay and here also i am taking that example only means in order to have more of bananas you should have to sacrifice some mangoes okay if you want to have more of bananas or to to you want to have the number of bananas then you should have to sacrifice some amount of mangoes that is why the indifference curve sloping downwards from left to right now next point is the indifference curve slopes downwards as an increase in the amount of bananas along with a increase in the amount of mangoes okay when you want to have more of bananas after sacrificing some amount of mangoes it will leads for what to increase in the amount of bananas and to and uh, it will leads for to decrease in the number of mangoes this will leads to downward sloping of indifference curve from left to right now look at the graph here this graph uh, is of what here the indifference curve that shows you the downward sloping of curve from left to right here i have taken the commodity x and y instead of bananas and mangoes okay this is what the first and most important feature of indifference curve that is indifference curve slopes downwards from left to right now let's discuss about the second important feature of indifference curve is higher indifference curve gives 
greater level of satisfaction okay in the last class while discussing about the indifference map i have drawn the indifference map curve let's recap that map here again here the higher indifference curve gives you the higher level of satisfaction and the lower indifference curve gives you the lower level of satisfaction here there are three combination of goods and services the first one is ic1 curve next is ic2 and ic3 now now tell me which one is the higher indifference curve here ic3 is the higher indifference curve which will gives us the higher level of satisfaction ic1 is the lower indifference curve will gives you the lower level of satisfaction and always a consumer will chooses the higher indifference curve because he wants to have higher level of satisfaction now let's discuss some points regarding this uh, feature is as long as marginal utility of a commodity is positive an individual will always prefers more of that commodity <coughs> which will increases the level of satisfaction means as long as the marginal utility of a commodity is positive or increasing an individual will always prefers more of that commodity which will gives him the higher level of satisfaction means the consumer always chooses the higher in indifference curve to get higher level of satisfaction now let's see the second point here consider the different combination of bananas and mangoes means here they have given the different combinations of bananas and mangoes like combination a combination b and combination c as shown in the following graph here they given three combinations of bananas and mangoes and three different indifference curves of the three combinations of commodities that is ic1 ic2 and ic3 okay look at the graph here here on the ox axis they measured good y it means the bananas and here on the oy axis they measured good y it means the mangoes means look at the higher indifference curve ic3 is the higher indifference curve which will gives us the higher level of satisfaction and the lower indifference curve ic1 will gives you the lower level of satisfaction right now let's take the third and most important feature of indifference curve is two indifference curves never intersect each other okay look at the graph here two indifference curves will never intersect each other like this this is what i see one and i see two okay like this means two indifference curve will never intersect each other now let's uh, see the point here two indifference curves intersecting each other will lead to conflicting result to explain this let us allow two indifference curves to intersect each other as shown in the following graph now this will create some conflicts among the uh, customers or consumers that is why now let's uh, first uh, let's intersect each other as shown in the following graph okay this graph shows the intersecting of indifference curves T two indifference curves will never intersect each other because let's see the combinations here this is what the intersecting point that is combination a means on the ic1 curve on the same curve there are two combinations are lying on means combination a and combination b are on the same curve that is ic1 and combination a and combination c are also on the same curve that is ic2 this is not possible because if the two combination of the commodities are on the same curve it will shows you these combinations are providing the same level of satisfaction but 
what is indifference map it will shows the different combination of goods and services and each and every combination will provides us the different levels of satisfaction that is why the indifference curves will never intersect each other right this is all about what here the features of indifference curve and these are very important for your examinations and now in the next class we will discuss the next important topic of your second chapter that is the consumer's budget thank you